For a side dish this creamy, make the change to Velveeta shells and cheese. It's gonna be a on the table. And introducing Velveeta Creamy Herb and Garlic, a blend of garlic and herbs in a creamy new side dish. Hey, Ted. They celebrated 50 years of marriage tonight. Quite a milestone, but Hugh and Teresa Gertner of Croydon Bucks County have achieved an even greater feat. They have fostered 130 children over those five decades. That's right, 130 kids. It wasn't easy. I, I want to know where the years went. Well, it's not easy for anybody, not just us. You have good times, bad we times. Moved. Tonight, their extensive family celebrated the golden anniversary at the Rose Briar Inn in Torsdale. On the cake was their wedding picture. It was taken on a day that neither Hugh nor Teresa knew they would go on to foster so many children. But they have no regrets. I wouldn't no. trade it for the world. If I had to do it over again, I'd do the same thing. Yeah, same sure. thing. At the party was Gertner's very first foster children. They wouldn't have been anywhere else. They did a lot for me. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And that's why you're here? Yeah. I know that's, that's why I'm here is because of them. The Gertners did raise three biological children as well. Oldest daughter Linda Nally remembers how crazy it would get with so many new children coming in and out of the household. Yes, especially at Christmas time. You never knew how many foster kids they were going to have, so you had to run out quickly and, and buy a gift for somebody that just came last week. The Gertners have, however, endured some tough times. Some foster children they took in were addicted to drugs or were abused. Three years ago, two foster kids even tried to steal their car. But tonight, the Gertners looked back after 50 years of marriage and knew that although they were always busy, they were never bored. Matt O'Donnell, Channel 6 Action News, Torsdale. No, oh, they were never bored. Phil's here now with word of a big flyers trade. Man, never boring in the uh, sports department, that's for sure. Listen, Flyers tonight, they traded forwards Pat Balloon, yes, and Vinnie Prospel to Ottawa in exchange for center Alexander Daig. Now, Daig, about six feet tall, 190 pounds, will turn 23 next month and comes to the Flyers with a load of talent. He scored 26 goals and 51 points last year and will probably play left wing or center. So once again, the Flyers get... Alexander Daig, seven goals, nine assists for 16 points this year. The Senators, in exchange, get Vaclav Prospel, who had uh, 18 points this year. Pat Balloon, who has uh, 12 points this year. And a 1998 second-round pick. The Flyers looking for a little speed on their front lines. Well, this time last year, the Sixers record 8-29. That's 21 games under 500. What a difference a year and a good coach makes. With tonight's 112-84 win over Golden State, Larry Brown and company now 12 and 23, only 11 games under 500. And let's check out some of the action because Allen Iverson was on. 28 points, a nice steal there for the dunk, but Allen also had the answer with seven assists. Look at this one to Tim Thomas on the alley. Whoa, Thomas, the rookie with 15 points. Even Big DC got in on the act. 18 points and one rebound shy of a double-double. And how about Theo Ratliff? Six more blocks and a pretty nice dunk of his own right there. Six is now 96 against the Western Conference this year. We know that we can't just, you know, come out and take anybody for granted because we got to get some wins. You know, we won't ever try to get to 500 and better. So um, we're just trying to take it one game at a time. Nicely done, nicely said. NBA scoreboard tonight, uh, New York gets by Toronto as Washington 108, the Clippers 99, Jersey gets by Atlanta, and Minnesota one bucket better than Dallas. March 18th, 1991, a night I will never forget, because that was the night I first met the Big Dipper, Wilt Chamberlain. There he is, and boy, is he tall. It was also the night the Sixers finally retired Wilt's number 13 jersey, some 23 years after he last played for the 76ers. Well, today in Lawrence, Kansas, we'll relive the moment wearing a letter jacket he got in 1957 because Kansas retired his number 13 jersey 14 years after he last played for the Jayhawks. Following today's festivities, well, third-ranked Kansas then went out and nipped Kansas State 69-62. Checking the rest of today's top 10 college hoop action, it was North Carolina over Appalachian State, Duke sneaking by Clemson, 
elsewhere. Utah right now leading Wyoming. Kentucky over Arkansas, 80 to 77. That in overtime. It was Stanford getting by UCLA. Elsewhere, UConn over Georgetown. And that wraps up the top 10. Meanwhile, the LaSalle Explorers hosting Temple at the Spectrum this afternoon. Big afternoon for Owls guard Pepe Sanchez. Perfect 10 on the way to a triple double. That's 10 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. 56-36 Temple. Mike Gizzy led all the South scores with 22 points. Lighting it up from the three-point line there, but the Owls, simply too much firepower for the Explorers. Lamont Barnes, he gets fouled plus the bucket. He had a career-high 24 points. Temple wins it 80-66. to A light night uh, locally in college hoops as Duquesne beats St. Joe's, but Penn gets by Bucknell 69-62. North America versus the world in a revised version of the NHL All-Star Game. That's tomorrow in Vancouver, British Columbia. The Flyers represented by John LeClaire, number 10, and big number 88, Eric Lindros. Yes, representing Team Canada also next month in the uh, Olympics. John LeClaire tonight taking part in the hardest shot skills competition. LeClaire fired the puck 96 and 94 miles an hour. He finished third, but nonetheless, uh, LeClaire simply looking forward to tomorrow's game. You know, especially with the Olympics coming up, uh, you know, the whole nationalism thing is, uh, is large right now. And this will be a good, uh, you know, prelude into the Olympics. Leclerc, of course, was a member of Team USA last year when they beat Canada in the World Cup. And Leclerc and mates hoping to win the gold next month at Nagano in the Winter Olympics. How focused is Green Bay on repeating a Super Bowl champs? Well, this week, Packers quarterback Brett Favre not only turned down invites to appear on Letterman and Leno, but also said no to lucrative endorsements with Wheaties and Disney, while head coach Mike Holmgren canceled both his radio and television shows this week. Meanwhile, uh, the Broncos wrapping up their final practice in Denver today, and judging by the white stuff in the background, Broncos will be happy to get to the sun and fun of San Diego. Denver tight end Shannon Sharp says they have what they need to win. Win the Super Bowl, and it's been proven out of the 31 past winners, Every team that's won, with maybe the exception of one, has had a Hall of Fame quarterback. And I think we present that. We indeed. John Elway, he is indeed heading to Canton. Meanwhile, Redskins head coach Norv Turner leading the South against Ravens head dude Ted Marchabroder in the Senior Bowl, Mobile, Alabama. And this one all South is Florida Gators quarterback Fred Weary picked off Nevada's John Dutton. And he could go all the way. No, no, he does go all the way. 97 yards for the touchdown. The South beat the North 31-8. to Well, this just not All-Star weekend for the National Hockey League, but also the ABL, as several members of the Philadelphia Rage checked into Orlando, Florida, for tomorrow night's All-Star game. Today, uh, preliminaries for the...